subscribe please consider subscribing press the notification icon below if you want to be the first to know when i upload a new video thank you for coming back to my channel for the comments i appreciate thank you so much now i'll just get through the comments uh, the comments actually the kind of comments but again questions and uh, one of the subscriber that is coming from from Cameroon Cameroon uh, I like that thank you very much I'll just get back to you uh, he was asking what is the difference between the tourist visa and uh, the work visa here in Qatar uh, what can I what I can say is that uh, the tourist visa the tourist visa here in Qatar is uh, for a short period of time and normally for the tourist visa is normally for for three for three or two months depending and you can extend it you can apply for an extension in case it is overstay uh, in case it is uh, overstayed you can try to apply for the extension depending on then the work visa what you call the work visa is is normally um, coming for a particular kind of work and someone applies for you for you that is an employer, the person who is willing to give you the job, is the one that will apply for you the work visa. And normally, the work visa, uh, sometimes what we call the employment visa in the short term. And uh, the, the work visa itself, uh, it normally runs from a period of uh, one to five years, depending on what contractual agreement you have between you and the person who is giving you the job. But remember, even the tourist visa, you can try to convert to the work visa. Okay? If you come in the country on a tourist visa and you get a job, you get someone who is sponsoring you or someone who is going to give you a job, he will convert your tourist visa into what we call a work visa, which will still run the same period uh, between one to five years, depending on the agreement that you have between the two parties. That is the employees and the employer. What does it mean? Here in Qatar, uh, the two types of uh, uh, the two types of employment visa. We have that contract that runs for two years. Then we have that unlimited contract that runs for five years. But remember, the residence permit in Qatar runs one year. It is renewed every year. That is, we say it is renewed yearly. Starting from the period that you entered the country. And before your residence permit or before uh, your area, your employment permit is given out, you must get what we call, you must go through what you call a probation period of six months. That probation period of six months, you go under medical checkup, you know, you, you, go, um, you go under medical checkup. If you are verified and everything is okay, then after the probation of six months, they can still, they, they, they will print out what you call your residence card. But remember that the six months, the six months of probation, a part of uh, a part of your one year when the residence permit is being given out or what it, when it's given out to you so that is the difference that is someone coming from Yaoundé Cameroon that is what I can tell you but remember the technology now is moving very fast it's moving at a very terrific speed we are seeing new things coming in every day you can still check your visa online let's say for example for the work visa you have a job offer that is coming from a company. You'll get the interview. You'll get the job offer. They'll print for you the, the visa. They will send you an email for the visa. It depends on two. If you have another recruiting agency from your country that did the, uh, that did the recruitment on your behalf, they will send them the, the copy of the visa. And the recruitment agent in your country will give you that copy of the visa. Then you can also go online yourself. 
using your mobile, using your laptop, using your desktop, at whatever place you may be, you can still access and find out if your visa that is being given to you is really genuine. If is really genuine and is that visa that for that kind of particular job that you're going to do or the job that you uh, you interviewed for. So this time, there is no need to get worried. There is no need to get worried. You can still access and you can check your visa. For here in Qatar, here in Qatar, uh, what you can do is that uh, you can check on the government website. And that government web website is called the MOI. That is the Ministry of Interior. That is at www.moi.gov.qa. Gov stands for government and Q stands for Qatar. That one gives you, uh, uh, you go to the website and you can check. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just give you a small tutorial. I'll show you how you can check your visa online. How you can check your visa status online. For those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Consider subscribing, then you will be the first to know when I upload the new videos. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go. Let's go just straight uh, to the tutorial. Then I'll show you how you can try it low to check the status of your visa. I'll now turn on my desktop. I'm using the desktop uh, to to show you how you can check the status of your visa. But you can still use your mobile phone to check the status of your visa. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to let's let's go and check out how you can try to find the status of your visa here in. Uh, how you can try to find the status of your visa here in. Qatar. My subscriber, I had one comment that was coming from someone in, uh, uh, in Philippines. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, thank you so much. People from Uganda, I love that. Thank you so much. Kenya, thank you so much. All people around the world that subscribe and those that send me comments, I appreciate. Thank you so much. Now we shall go back straight to the tutorial. Then we shall see how you can try to check your visa status uh, in, in case you want to run. Okay, now we shall just go to tutorial and we shall try to check uh, how you can really check your status of a visa online on uh, MOI uh, portal, that is the Ministry of Interior. Okay, nowadays the technology is moving very fast that you can even have your mobile phone and check it does not mean that every time you need to have a laptop you can have the mobile phone so long as you have access to internet you can still uh, check and, and, and find, out, uh, find out some of these services for yourself uh, so we shall just go straight we shall click then we shall just go to that is the uh, Ministry of Interior uh, portal that is moi.gov.gov.qa uh, Gov means the government and QA means Qatar. That is uh, the simple initials of Qatar. So we shall go to visa inquiry and printing through the Qatar MOI portal. Then we shall just scroll direct just here. Then we shall go to uh, moi.gov.ca.yfc. That is the online internet services and inquiry. So we shall just click. Something like this will come out. All right. Hope you're with me, guys. It will come out. Then we have the traffic inquiry, the visa services, exit and entry permits, which will no longer have the entry and exit permits. You can go so long as you have your ticket with you. We have the residence permit inquiry, that is the cut ID. Then we have other inquiries. We have the metrash. Then we, um, we have the QPO services. Then we have PCC inquiry. PCC inquiry, that is the police clearance certificate. In this, you have the clearance from Qatar. You can still have this. Uh, you can still uh, trace or you can still find out 
maybe the status of your clearance in case you, you want to apply. Um, but right now, uh, our main concern was how to check the visa. So we shall go to the visa services. When you click the visa services, this is what will come. We have the visa approval tracking. We have the visa inquiry and printing, the VST visa extension, the track application status, and Qatar Visa Center. Uh, so what happens is a visa approval tracking in case you applied for the visa and you need to, to check the status you need to check whether it is approved or not you just go to this this um, uh, this column then we have the visa inquiry and printing if you want to know about your visa or you want to find out whether it is a real visa let's say for example someone applied for you the visa and send it to you you, you go here you'll still get it or you want to know is your visa overstayed or is your visa expired you can still find out from the same and what status let's say for example you're given a contract you can find out that either my visa is yearly or is for two years or is an um, is an uh, is an uh, or open visa which is a uh, or uh, which is a uh, five years or a contract of two years visa uh, but remember here in Qatar, the visa is uh, here in Qatar. The visa is only no, normally it's yearly. It's only after one year, which is renewable according to your Qatar ID. When they renew your Qatar ID, because the Qatar ID, the reason permit on normally rise uh, runs for one year, it gives you the status of the visa. So you have visa extension. For example, you've overstayed and on a visa visa, you can extend it, or when you apply, you can still trace it from here. Um, then track application status that is uh, you can track it you can see that is it moving is it signed it is moving for one department you can still have the access that is the good thing so now we shall go to the visa inquiry and printing we want to find out the visa of one person so here we just go straight okay we shall just click here the passport i'll use my passport or we shall use the passport number for this person then we say the passport number is b one one okay six four two two one then we can click here then we can say we can click here we can say nationality we can punch in the nationality but you need to be very very careful and a little bit slow don't rush you don't rush such that you can have the item or you can get it uh, or you can fix in or pinch in the right in, the right information so you can click and say this is uganda okay then we click here this patch code that we need to verify here and we shall say it is seven seven nine we go so if it is seven seven nine we shall say submit okay so this is what will come this is the visa number it will give you the visa number let's say for example for this person the visa number is three eight two zero one six one one two uh, six, uh, six two two seven seven two two okay nationality is ugandan and this one this one shows this one shows this one shows the visa is already expired so you have your you have your information all and you can see the information this is now what happens okay so you can have your setter you can track it and you can see your visa online if you have internet you can still use your mobile phone and you can track it and you can know your visa setter it's that quite very easy but some of some people Take it as something very simple but surely you need to have such kind of information at your hand you need to have it uh, let's say for example you applied for a job you applied for one job you applied for a job you're given a you went for interview you're given an offer uh, offer letter and um, someone sent you a visa you can still verify the visa online and find out it if 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 it is the real visa that was given to me okay so you get to verify that visa and that's how it is done uh, it's quite easy quite very simple very few steps you can take then you can find out what it is like okay so guys that is what i can say that was an a comment that was coming from one 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 of my subscriber actually he needed hope and actually it is it is done hope next time he will get what to know so guys thank you very much for those that have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel please uh, you can put comments in the subsection below i'll be able to get i'll be happy to get back to you within the shortest period of time thank you very much love you guys subscribe to my channel my name is mick samuel thank you